Pooh Bears, what's going on? How are you? I pray you're having a good day. Um, today's discussion is, do you feel that the black community is harder on same gender loving more than any other community? All right, so think about it. Is the black community more hard on gay people than any other community? I will say that it is hard being same gender loving in our black culture because, you know, um, just for instance, let's just say from where I grew up at, East Cleveland, okay? You can't just walk around and say, hey, I'm saying same gender loving. You'll get ostracized from your your family, your neighborhood, your school, work. Um, sometimes you won't even get a job if you're same gender loving or you have to hide it. And that's why people are down low because they feel that they have to have a family, just like a president. Have you ever seen a single president or same gender loving president. No, you have to have the illusion of the perfect, you know, family, the happy wife. Hey, we're smiling. We're smiling. Even if we close the doors, we kill each other. It needs to appear to be happy at least. And so the same thing, if you're a, at a fortune 500 company and it's built on, you know, family and all of this, you can't just go up in there, you know, like, Hey, this is my lover, Richard Simmons. What? Yeah. So it's just so, so many different things. Um, I don't want to go fast on this because I don't want to miss anything. But um, I would just say, you know, of course, given our history, we, you know, I'm cognizant of our history, you know, being black about bucking, which was fucking unfortunate. Now, that was fucking unfortunate. And I think that's probably where it stems from. And bucking is when we, we had slaves and slave owners and the slave owners would, you know, um, rape the men. Now, that's fucked up. But a lot of times people say, oh, you're not gay. It's it's because, you know, you're taught that or uh, you're just horny, honey. It, it, it can't be in your DNA. But my question is to you, how do you know? That's like us saying you can't be straight. You're brainwashed. You're brainwashed to be heterosexual. Like no one can say that like what's in your heart. I feel that if you're with a person of age and it's a consenting adult, then go for it, you know, unless you're married or you're in a relationship where you have someone thinking you're faithful and you're not. And that's where the download comes in. And so I feel that Instead of ruining someone's life, if you're down low, instead of ruining, ruining another person's life, I would just tell them, hey, I've had, you know, thoughts, fantasies, dreams, however you want to upplay it or downplay it, of the same gender. And at least throw that bug in their ear so they're not totally sideswiped. Because I would not want to be thinking that I'm eating a vegan hamburger and you're telling me this bitch is Angus. If you're thinking you're eating vegan and then it's beef. You see what I'm saying? So it's just a deception for me. They're thinking they're getting a whole entire man and then he's getting his box banged over here. Not cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. Um, you know, although I can see at some point like why someone would be down low, I don't condone it. And you could be down low once again. You don't want to be ostracized from your family, your church your community, where you live, your job, even in Hollywood. It's said that everybody is doing everything with everybody, but you can't come out as saying you're gay. Still in 2021, and people have alluded to stars, people who are actors, actresses, singers, rappers, all of it, alluded to them being gay, but they haven't come out themselves. You know, but where there's smoke, there's fire. I will say that because when, you know, 400 years ago, we heard that, I hate to bring this up, but it's the truth and it, and it applies. But 400 years ago, we heard that Will and Jada had an open marriage and come to find out in 2020, they did. So like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire. And, you know, um, so I, I, are black people harder on same gender loving? I would say they, you know, we as black people, and I'm saying gender loving, so, you know, 
I, I can understand because I had family that was very evil to me about it. And then I had some family who accepted it, you know, um, which I don't give a shit in, anyway, because I'm not asking you for money for my mortgage. I ain't never asked you for Tencent to help me put cheese on a Whopper. So I'm going to do what I do. And I do it in class and decency. So I'm not asking for anybody's permission. But I will acknowledge that when I was younger, you know, it wasn't so favorable for me. They had gay songs and, you know, just different things. And now it's so weird because now they have children. I was regular gay. You know what I'm saying? Meaning just regular. I just knew I liked boys, but I still like being a boy, you know. But, um, you know, now they have children and, and nieces and nephews. And their nieces and nephews and children are, um, can, you know how you say extra ice, extra gay. Okay, I don't mean no harm because I'm in the community. I can say this shit, you know, I'm just saying. When I say, what's extra gay, Mario? Extra. Honey coming up in here with a Daisy Duke shirt on. And may have a heel on, honey. Bring it home. Bring it on home, baby. And I'm not knocking or anything, but it's just funny how life goes around. The thing that you hate the most will be the thing that marries into your family or you will have in your family. It's so funny. Okay. So once again, our black people, we are, as a black race, harder on same gender loving. I will say no. Take your ass to um, the Middle East. Go to the Middle East. Go to Germany. Go to Pakistan, motherfucker. Uh, go. It's it's illegal in half of these places. Go to Africa. It's not just yeah. It's a lot of black people in Africa, but it's not that many in Russia and Germany and in the, and and Saudi Arabia. You'll get your head cut the fuck off. So I think the people in the Middle East are a little bit more. Um, less tolerant, if you will, than black folks, because you ain't never heard of a black person cutting your head off because you're gay. They might kick their children out the house, which I don't understand it. You pray for the baby. All I want is my baby to be healthy. Ten fingers, ten toes. Then they ten fingers, ten toes. and might have a little extra switch and they walk and be like, oh, they're gay or lesbian or um, transgender or something. And then you disown your family. You disown them. And kick them out and don't speak to them for years. Because I feel, once again, you're afraid what your community may say. You're afraid what your family members may say. The church members. Oh, it's just a mess. It's a hoopla. Listen, at the end of the day, love is all we need. Love is all we need. Okay? Um, I'm not going to make this video longer drawn out. I said what I said and I said how I had to say it. If you have something to add on to it or something to elaborate to the situation, definitely comment below, subscribe to my channel and share the video if you care. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me and God bless you so much. Also, put down some topics that you would want me to talk about in the comments um, on some of the videos and we'll go from there. Thank you so much and have a great day.